Welcome to my Whack-A-Mole introduction video. In this video series, you will learn how to use buttons. We will learn how to create a countdown system as well as a score and a timer system. We will create all of these moles also with all these particle effects going on wherever we are hitting them. Also, we're gonna create those floating scores and negative numbers as well, like when we are hitting red moles. There will also be a golden mole. We will also talk about rarity, like how rare a specific mole can be. Like we're going to create several different moles, like one also with a blue hat, like this one in here. Once again, there's also going to be one where, which is completely golden, which will give us a big score amount. And also when the time is over and we are unable to fulfill the complete score needed for this particular level, then we're gonna go to a game over scene. That means we're gonna have or see what our score was, what our best level has been. There's a golden mole. And now we made it to the next level. And also we will increment these numbers, at least these score numbers, according to some formulas. We're gonna do all the calculations. Meanwhile, we are doing this course, as well as we're gonna fine tune some things here and there. We're gonna go over the bug fixing. We're gonna go over debugging. And we'll also go over gameplay at all. In the end, I also give you some possibilities to, let's say, implement the game, more gameplay features. We're gonna think about what can we improve this one. And also, once again, when we are done with this complete round, I don't gonna get more score now, or maybe just some here and there, then we are actually able to also build this one into an app like an Android app or anything that just needs some small changes in the game over scene. But basically, that's what we all talk about. And now I let the time run out to show you what the game over scene looks. As you can see, there's like a game over. The score will be stored as well as showing us the correct level. And when I now press space later on, can you can also implement buttons and stuff. And we're going to go back to the Whack-A-Mole main scene. And all of that, including all the 3D models I use, except the grass and the stones, are going to be inside the course as well. So that's how you later on going to learn how to create such a game like this, how to implement stuff, uh, how to you make use of all the 3D models and all the other things you will learn in this course. So I hope to see you. In this course, if you want to learn how the, all of that is going to be created, how the animations are going to be handled and so on, then feel free to tune in the course. I will put a link to the course with some discount into the description below. So feel free to get the course. Thanks for watching and see you in hopefully in the course. Bye bye.